Hey everyone, welcome to Vergara University. Today, I'll show you how to require a deposit when customers book a service or class online. This feature ensures that clients value your time the same way that you do. After all, customers are less likely to cancel or forget about an appointment when they've already paid a deposit. Before getting started, you'll need to open a merchant account so you can process credit card payments. Afterward, you can require a deposit when clients book online. Let me show you how it works. We'll start by navigating to Settings. Then, under the Things We Sell section, we'll select Online Shopping Cart. This is one of the premium features in Vigaro and will cost an additional $10 on your monthly bill. We'll select Get Started to activate the feature. Once activated, we will be able to configure our shopping cart settings. We can require a deposit or capture credit card at the time of booking services or classes. The options for services and classes are separated so we can configure different rule sets for each. With each setting disabled, customers will be able to book without having to input any credit card information. If we select Deposits, we can set the required amount due when booking. This can be a dollar amount or percentage. Next, we can set the minimum threshold to require a deposit. For example, if a customer books a service that is $20 or more, they will need to pay a 50% deposit in order to book the appointment. Note that for any live stream appointments, a 100% deposit is always required in order to prevent clients from skipping out on payment after attending a virtual session. Next, we'll determine which appointments will require a deposit. We can use these same rules for in-house deposits. With this enabled, Whenever our staff books an appointment directly on the calendar, Vigaro will prompt us to collect a deposit. For online booking, we can require payment for new customers, old or returning customers, mobile appointments where we drive to the customer's location, and customers with a set number of no-shows or cancellations. We can set the exact number of no-shows and cancellations to require a deposit. If we select new and old customer appointments together, all clients will be subject to our deposit rules regardless of appointment location or number of cancellations. Below, we can review and modify our appointment cancellation policy. Finally, we can allow a customer with a renewing membership or package to waive a required deposit when booking outside their billing cycle. To explain this, let's say we require a $20 deposit on all bookings. If a client has a package or membership, they may be able to redeem a visit to cover the fee. However, if the desired appointment date is set after the renewal date of their package or membership, in other words, outside the client's billing cycle, they would normally have to pay a $20 deposit. If we allow customers with a renewing package or membership to book outside their billing cycle, we can waive the standard deposit rather than charge them upfront. For example, if we set the book in advance limit to five days, if a customer tries to book an appointment three days after their scheduled renewal date, the deposit fee will simply be waived and the customer can book without paying. If they try to book more than five days after their renewal date, they will either have to pay the deposit or wait for their benefits to renew. We can configure a separate deposit or credit card capture rule set for class bookings. The same settings for service deposits will be available for classes. Once finished, We'll select Save at the bottom of the screen, and our rules for required deposits will immediately apply moving forward. For more helpful tips and tricks, click the Vigaro University link in the description below.